authorities have popularized the idea of owning some of the most exotic animals as house pets. Oh god, oh Jesus. But what about something a little smaller and cuter? From baby lions to tigers to skunks, there are some pretty cute and rare animals you'd be surprised you can actually own, at least in some parts of the world. Run. Welcome to another episode of Forever Green. Today, we're counting down nine of the cutest baby animals you can actually own. Let's get started. Number nine, baby wombat. They are also an endangered species, and yet there are no laws against owning them in several countries. If you do get one, you need to make sure to train them not to bite and to give them plenty of room to fly. Did we just say fly? Yup. Despite their bulky appearance being the farthest thing from that of a sugar glider or flying squirrel, these Australian marsupials are capable of flying short distances. They use hyperventilation to inflate themselves into a sort of furry balloon and can travel from branch to branch and tree to tree, usually under cover of darkness. What's more, they make for interesting pets. Just check out this wombat who thinks it's a dog. However, for those of you looking to adopt one of these cute and cuddly companions, you should know that adult wombats can become aggressive and dangerous at times, and therefore need to be carefully domesticated. Number 8. Baby Tamandua What's this cute little thing called a tamadua? The tamadua is a member of the anteater family native to Central and South America, and is usually seen as a bit of a nuisance by its human neighbors. But as a pet, just look at this baby tamadua. But before you go thinking about using one of these guys for pest control, think again. Tamanduas are extremely picky eaters and only consume ants from the area they are native to. That being said, you could still own one outside of its natural habitat, as tamanduas are omnivores that eat all kinds of other foods, but they do require a variety of foods to be happy and healthy. The 10-pound tamandua is especially popular and makes a cuddly, easygoing companion in many parts of the world. Owning a tamandua isn't even an unheard of trend. It's been 50 years since the eccentric artist Salvador Dali was photographed and walking his pet anteater down the streets of Paris. Before we move on to our next cutest baby animal, we have a quick challenge that'll just take 5 seconds to complete. Here's the deal. Leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications, and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it. It actually works. Number 7. Baby Tiger Did you know the majority of tigers in the United States live as pets, and not in the wild? One of the world's largest populations of privately owned tigers exists in the United States. With an estimated 5,000 tigers, the U.S. captive tiger population exceeds the approximately 3,200 tigers living in the wild. Some of them are even owned by celebrities, such as Mike Tyson. And while it may sound thrilling at first, caring for a tiger can be a serious challenge. While you can start them off on milk as babies, eventually, a full-grown tiger's diet can go on to consist of up to 88 pounds of meat in one sitting. And it'll need space, too. A tiger's enclosure should be as big as 40 square miles. Plus, you'll always need to keep an eye out. While studies do show tigers can peacefully coexist with humans, any frustrated, cooped-up cat has the capacity to lash out. But look at these baby tigers. Aren't they just cute? Number 6. Baby Sloths Two-toed sloths are the darlings of the exotic pet world, and for good reason. Owned by celebrities like actress Kristen Bell, these slow-moving, tree-dwelling creatures are just irresistible, especially as babies. They're in fact so cute that a video of Kristen Bell bursting into tears upon meeting a two-toed sloth went viral. But like tigers, they are not easily domesticated creatures. 
Two-toed sloths are high-maintenance creatures that are used to living in highly tropical, wild habitats. Habitats not easily duplicated by pet owners in the Western world. Even though sloths are legal to own in some countries in the world, the American Sloth Conservation Foundation warns pet owners not to mistake their cute and slow-moving nature for comfort. Stillness is actually a defense mechanism they've developed to blend in with the environment when they feel threatened by predators. Number 5. Baby Llama If you're feeling stressed out and the slowness of sloths isn't enough to get you to chill out, consider adopting a pet llama. The cool, low-key llama is often used as a therapy animal which is why it makes such a great family pet, in the countries where it's legal to own one, of course. Llama spit is filled with their stomach's gastric juice, which can be somewhat acidic and painful. But unless you give your llama a reason to feel threatened, it's unlikely they'll have a go at you. Besides that, a pet llama is loyal, affectionate, clean, and generally low maintenance as long as it's got plenty of space to move around and preferably a furry companion by its side, as llamas are naturally herd animals. Need another good reason to adopt a couple of these cute creatures? It turns out, llamas are just as effective as guard dogs when it comes to scaring off predators. Number 4. Mootjock Deer Many would say there's no cuter baby animal than Bambi, but just imagine the amount of space you'll need in your backyard once it's all grown up. That's why you might want to opt for a Moonjock deer. Originating in South Asia, the Moonjock deer is a small species that makes for a great pet. These little guys are easily domesticated and can even learn how to use a litter box, just like a cat. What's more, they barely shed hairs and are pretty independent and low maintenance. Moonjacks can be kept both indoors or outdoors and enjoy a pretty uncomplicated diet of greens, fruit, and bread. But perhaps the best thing about them is that these deers aren't shy whatsoever. Moonjacks are cuddly, affectionate, and have been known to spend their days following their owners around wherever they go. If right about now you're considering trading in your cat or dog for a moonjack, we couldn't blame you. Number 3. Baby Skunks Wow, hold on a second. Who would want to own a smelly little skunk? Well, here's some news. Owning a skunk isn't nearly as stinky as it sounds. Most domestic skunks have been bred in captivity, where they've had their scent glands removed at a very young age. With all that stink out of the equation, all you're left with is one of the cutest, most playful baby animals you've ever met. Some animal rights advocates call the practice inhumane, as descented skunks likely wouldn't survive in the wild if they got lost. But any proud skunk owner will tell you that a well-fed skunk that gets a lot of attention, affection, and discipline likely won't ever want to stray far from home. We'll leave it up to you to decide whether you'd own one or not. But if there's one thing you can't argue with, it's the cuteness of these baby animals. Number 2. Baby Fennec Fox Owning a baby fox is just as cute as it is cool. But what's cuter than the fennec fox with its huge ears? The fennec fox is the smallest breed in the fox family. It normally calls the Sahara Desert home. They have a lifespan of 12 to 16 years, about the same as a domesticated dog. What's more, they don't have a musk gland, which means that unlike your regular red foxes, they barely have any natural odor. Fennecs are also very playful and high energy, and require a good amount of room to run around. Mind you, they won't need the open expanse of a deer or tiger, but if they aren't given the entire run of the house, they should at least have a whole bedroom to themselves. These active furry critters require quite a bit of stimulation, so be sure you're really ready for the commitment, because raising a fennec is a lot like raising a child. But hey, 
most will say those ears are well worth it. It's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber wondering about this cute and cuddly white bat. If you come across a mysterious photo online and want us to look into it, just send it over, and we may even feature it on a future video. We looked into this creature, and it turns out this puffy creature won't swoop in and bite you if you give it the proper love it needs and feed it before midnight. Jokes aside, this photo is of a plush bat, and that looks very realistic, doesn't it? The wings can be left straight out or folded to pose the bat in a more upright position. Perhaps the closest real-life animal to this cute and fluffy creature is the Honduran white bat. Number 1. Baby Honduran White Bat Honduran white bats are unique to all bats in that they have a distinctive, completely